Hey y'all, welcome to my little corner of YouTube. This is Noelle The Natural. If this is your first time watching my video, welcome to the channel and I hope you stay. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. Today we'll be doing a video on friendship. Everything about friendship from fake friends, toxic friends, making friends, our growing friends, the whole of shebang. So without any further ado, we're just gonna get right into it. Let's go. So the first topic I wanna talk about is outgrowing friends. I am 19, about to be 20 years old. So, I, of course, I don't have the same friends that I had in elementary and middle school now that I'm in college. Um, you're going to outgrow friends. Some friends are not going to grow up to have the same values and morals as you. Some people are going to go on a whole different path than you. And that is totally okay. That is a part of growing up. That is a part of life. It is nothing to worry about. Does it hurt outgrowing friends? Absolutely. I mean, you're going to lose people who you spend most of your life with. You're going to lose people who were there for you when no one else was. But that's just all a part of growing up. You have to, at some point, just take a deep breath and realize it's okay. I'm not the same person that I was yesterday. I'm not the same person that I was a month ago. I'm not the same person I was even a couple minutes ago. That is fine. You're growing, you're finding yourself, and that's all that you need to do. Yeah, outgrowing friends, it's not easy at all, but you have to think about the positives of it. You're realizing different things about yourself. You're figuring out what you like and like, who you are that's what college is meant for even if you're in high school you're probably going to outgrow people that you're not with that you're cool with that's totally okay everyone is not meant to be with you every step of the way some people are just lessons some people you're going to pass some people are just okay that was that part of my life and this is a different part of my life now and you just got to realize that and keep it pushing just keep it pushing as long as you know who you are and you're bettering yourself and you're figuring out who you are and what works for you, that's all that matters. The people that are left behind, thank them for the memories. And hey, it was good. It was nice knowing you. And I'll know you again. I'll speak to you if I see you, but I just don't want you in my life. And that's totally fine. And I'm also, y'all, y'all know I got my notebook. You know I got my notebook. And so that's another thing that i want to get into is like knowing your role in your life or knowing what role a person plays in your life because you have friends and you have acquaintances and some people are meant to just be fun some people are meant to be like okay i need to talk let me calm my hunger everyone is not going to play the same role in your life and i, I literally wrote a whole essay on this back when i was in like my senior year and it made me realize so much um just because you're close to that person doesn't mean that they're a good person for you. Doesn't mean that they're meant for every part of your life. Like, um, let me try to explain this. Like, you have people that you're going to turn up with, that you're going to have fun with. And then you have people like, are like, okay, this is something serious. I need to call her and see what's going on, see what's going on, see if she can help me. I need advice. Because sometimes people that you turn up with are not good at giving advice. Sometimes people you get advice from are not party people. And that is totally fine. That's totally okay. You just have to know what role they play in your life. And another thing about that too, is like some people get butt hurt if you don't do this certain thing with them when you do certain things with someone else. Hey, I just don't want to live that part of my life with you. And that should be okay. I know that there's a controversial. A lot of people do not think the same way that I think when it comes to that. But I definitely think that there should be boundaries in your life. You should not have everyone and everything that you have going on like um i just personally feel like everyone should not be involved in everything in your life like it's okay to have a bunch of friends a group of friends but just know who's really gonna be there for you if stuff goes sideways who's there just for a good time that's all that i'm trying to say and you have to think about that like who is this person to me what is this person to me do they have the same goals is me is this person here for me in this way is this person here for me in this way because some people aren't well rounded some people are only good for like a few things in your life that sounds so harsh but it's true and you want a blunt friend like you gonna need a blunt friend in your life because you don't need no yes man in your life yes in everything you do no ma'am no ma'am that's how you get that's how you get messed up in life you need a person who's going to be blunt with you. You need a person going to be real with you. You need a person who's just like, okay, I am what I did with my life. Let's go out. Let's do something. Let's hang out. And like, I'm lucky enough where most of my friends, majority all of them, 
are very real, well-rounded people. I can go to them about anything. It doesn't matter. I say, hey, you want to go out to eat? Let's go out to eat. You want to go bungee? You want to go bungee jumping? <laughs> you want to go paint and do a picnic? Okay, you got some serious going on. You can come to me. You can talk to me. Like, you really just need to figure out who are those people in your life and how much of an important role do they play in it? I'm not saying cut people off because they don't want to turn up with you. No, just know that they don't want to do that and you can still be with them and hang with them doing something else like you just have to know what role someone plays in your life and what role you play in someone's life and that's also very important because you might think that you're this person's best friend the whole time this girl is calling you her acquaintance you never want to overplay your role and you never want to give a person a role that they cannot play that they cannot maintain and they cannot keep up with and if you do that Trust and believe me, you'll be chilling. You won't be in no drama. You won't be in no mess. You'll be like, okay, I told this girl this. She ain't tell nobody else. She's solid. I told this girl this. She told the whole block. <laughs> you don't need that. You just really got to know, is this person good for me? Are they not good for me? Do I want to keep them around? How do I want to keep them around? It's really that simple. Back to my notebook. <laughs> I'm, like I said, I'm in college. This is my sophomore year. I was online for my freshman year, so this is basically like my freshman year of college, like being, this is my first year on campus pretty much, but I'm a sophomore. And so I want to talk about making friends in college. I have always been a very shy person. I've always been an introvert. I've always been to myself, but once I got to college, I'm like, okay, all of my friends at home are not with me. I was, I wasn't sad, but I was like, oh, time for me to break up my shield, time for me to branch out, time for me to, you know time for me to make some more friends college friends like you're gonna have at home friends you're gonna have college friends and that is totally okay baby they can be in the middle you can just keep them separate me personally i don't know what i'm gonna do but <laughs> i'm gonna have both you can have your cake and eat it too um so making friends in college you really just have to be outgoing you have to be willing to do things you cannot just sit in your dorm room sit in your apartment just sit in your classes you cannot do that you can't always be by yourself baby mm -mm. you need to go join those clubs if they have something going on on campus make yourself active go to those football games go to anything that's going on on campus go to the events go to the cafeteria literally go to class try to talk in class i'm not talking about like raise your hands or pushing to like around you you're gonna have group chats and everything you just have to navigate yourself. Like, you just have to put yourself out there. Ain't nobody gonna come to you if you're sitting looking like this. Just quiet and stuff? No. You literally put a smile on your face, baby. Be outgoing. If you see someone that you think you'll be friends with, just go up and say, hey, yada, yada, yada. I'm majoring in. What are you majoring in? Okay, cool. You have this class? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Are you going to this thing on this day? Do you want to go with me? Do you want to meet up there? It's that simple. You have to connect with people. I swear. You'll be okay. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you're not going to be the same person you was yesterday or a couple months ago. I'm seeing so much growth in myself in this past year. If you would ask me a year ago, are you just going to talk to me? I'm like, no, I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> like, nah. But now i don't mind going up to people starting a conversation like hey that's a nice shirt where you get it from okay yada 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 do you plan on going in this yada 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 like you literally have to know how to start a conversation starting a conversation is not hard i just feel like with that everyone's so caught up in like social media and stuff that we're not as connected to human beings for real as we used to we're more connected to our, our phones and everything where it's kind of hard to connect with people without social media, without texting, without Snapchat, without Instagram. And people are sometimes weirded out by someone just coming up to you. Don't get me wrong. I'm the same way. I know I'm telling y'all, but I'm the same way. If somebody come up to me and just be like, yada, 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 I'm like, mm. But I'm the type of person also where like, okay, I'm going to see where this is going. I'm about to chill. We about to, you know, hey. This could be someone that's really good for me. Like, this could be a great friend for me. And it's not, it's not the most easy thing to do. However, it is a good thing to do. You have to know how to connect to people in your life. Like, that's a life skill that you need. That's not just a one-time thing. You're going to be talking to people your whole life. You cannot get out of there unless you just want to go live in the woods, live off the grid. Hey, do that. 
read some books, talk to the birds. But if you actually want to build a friendship, have people to stand beside you in your wedding, have people there for those big moments in your life, you need to get out there. You need to branch off and make some friends. It's not easy, but it's also not hard. It's just you have to be willing to put yourself out there and you also have to be willing to just let it go and be free and be yourself be yourself it's so many people out here pretending to be people that they're not and it's so hard for people to be authentic these days like i think it's also because of social media but we that's a whole other video but be yourself it's gonna be somebody out there that, that likes you that is cool with your vibe that thinks you're a wonderful person it's gonna be out there like oh i hate her goods what is she doing here because trust me I have a bit of both. I'm a shy person. I stay to myself. I don't bother anybody. But there are still going to be people. There are still going to be people out there who dislike you just because there are going to be people who like you. Just because you just have to be willing to put yourself out there and see. And you cannot let the people that bother you, that don't like you, stop you from getting out there and living your life. No, ma'am. Don't do that. Please. Please, please, please. Don't do that. But, yeah, you really just have to be willing to be yourself. Put yourself out there, join some clubs and some groups, be active. You cannot be in your room in the shadows, in the dark, watching freaking anime and Disney movies. You gotta get out there, put yourself out there. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, so my next two topics are my last two topics, and it's how to spot a real friend and a fake friend. Um, I'm all of my re not relationships child all of my friendships have been like years long i don't i mean the ones i'm having now my college friends are like you know a couple weeks couple months like they're still pretty young but i'm able to have friends and have people in my life for years because i'm authentic and because i think that i'm a real friend like i'm not about to sit up here and have you looking crazy and i'm about to sit up here and hold your hand i'm about to sit up here and tell you you're right when you're wrong no some people like it some people love it some people hate it hey i don't really care you can deal with me how you want to do if you don't want me in your life kick me out like i just told you to do from other people shoot but to me a real friend is never going to sit up there in your face and play with you they're never going to put you in harm's way they're never going to have you in drama or mess and they're not just gonna just be there when certain things are going on mm -mm. A real friend is going to be there with you no matter what. Like, my best friend, that is my girl. I can call her for anything in the world. I'm like, hey, I ain't got her. You got 20 bucks on the like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, it's cool, you know? I can call her and be like, hey, bitch, I'm not feeling too good. You, I just need to show her the crown. She's right there. She's a real friend. I'm her real friend. We're like that. But, yeah, and... I'm not, like I said, I'm a very shy person, so I've never really been put in a situation to have just fake friends, toxic friends, hanging around people who don't like me, because I easily pick up on vibes, and, like, I don't welcome that type of negative energy in my life, but I have seen it firsthand through multiple friend groups, multiple people that I'm cool with, multiple people that I know about them telling about things that's going on in their friendship, like, this is yada yada yada, I'm like, baby, that's crazy, you need to cut her off, please, like, a fake friend they're only going to show up for certain events. They're not going to show up for you all the time. Shoot. They probably talking about you, they talk, probably are talking about you behind your back. And that's not cool. That's not okay. If you know that you only told this one person something and then you hear five other people saying it, you already know who told you. You already know who told them. Like, why are you sitting here playing around like this person is for you? Get rid of them. You don't need anyone in your corner who's belittling you, who's not supporting you, who has always had something negative to say. Because it's definitely a difference between being blunt and just being plain old negative. I don't do the negativity. I'm a blunt person, but I'm not a negative person. You're not about to sit up here and try to down what I'm doing, down what I'm saying, down what I look like. Baby, I don't care about that. I don't care about none of it. You're not about to sit in my face and tell me how I'm wrong in every single way. Mm -mm. It's a difference between being blunt and just being straight up mean and harsh. And a lot of people these days have it twisted between being like blunt and it's being plain old me. You can say things a certain way without hurting someone's feelings, without making someone feel less than. It's not hard. But yeah, those real friends, when those real life situations come, they're going to be there. Those fake friends, they'll come around when everything 
when your storm is past. You don't need that type of energy in your life. You need someone's going to who to show up. You need someone who's going to show up for you year round, 24 7, 365. I'm not saying that depend on that person for every single thing in your life. No, you're grown, hopefully. And if you're not grown, you're old enough to be watching my video to know what I'm talking about to realize that, okay, this is something I need to handle on my own. I don't need to be putting everything on everybody. Mm -mm. Friends are not places where you lay your burdens. They're not places where you go and you just dump everything. Some things you have to deal with on your own. You have to deal with a lot of stuff on your own. I'm not saying invite everyone into your mess and your drama and expect them to co-sign it. No, ma'am. All I'm saying is that a real person, a real friend of yours is going to be there through your storm and after. A person that's not for you will be there after the storm but never during it. They're going to be a ghost in the wind. You're not going to be able to find them. <laughs> they're going to be playing peekaboo with you. And then they're going to boop until the end of your storm. You cannot sit there and do that. Mm -mm. But yeah, that's all for my video today. I hope that you are able to take something from this and use it in your personal life. Um, This video is meant for all ages. Well, not all ages, but for the people that know what's going on for real. Thank you for joining me on my video. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe. You can share this video, like it, leave a comment down below. Actually, I want, if you made it to the end of my video, I want you to leave a yellow heart in the comments just so I know that you made it to the end of my video. But once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll be back next Monday or sometime next week with another video. Thank you. Mwah.